it's your girl Modest Ongosu, an outspoken introvert who is trying to analyze our country, Nigeria, Africa, and the world at large. Before we dive into today's episode, I just want to I'll quickly address the multi backlashes I received on my previous video where I discussed about Ghana deporting 494 Nigerians for reasons of illegal immigration. I also talked about the closure of Nigerian owned businesses in Ghana by the Ghanaian authorities. If you have not seen that video, I will leave the link down in the description box below. You can go watch it to get first-hand information on what I really said on that video. Now, to summarize the video, I basically explained that Nigerian traders are being required to register their businesses in Ghana with a sum of 1 million US dollars in order to trade in Ghana. Again, the Ghanaian authorities and the Ghanaian traders are demanding the closure of retail businesses owned by Nigerians because they do not want the Nigerian traders to dominate the Ghanaian market or be in competition with Ghanaian traders. This is the Ministry of Trade and Industry themselves, locking our shops themselves, even packing our goods. So with the security personnel. I want the Nigerian government to come to the rescue of Nigerians who are doing business in Ghana. Our lives are not saved. How will they assessing us and giving us a very huge of amount of money to go and pay to the Ghana Revenue Authority? We have all complied and look at what they are doing to our shops. Millions of Ghanaians are doing business free and fair in Nigeria, enjoying their peace. Nobody is disturbing them. As you can see, the lives of Nigerians doing business in Ghana are not safe. Now, some Ghanaians who saw this video decided for one reason or the other to rain insults and abuses on me. I was called a liar, even though no one pointed out what the lie was. I was called ignorant and accused of spreading false information. Yada, yada, yada. I must say this though, inasmuch as I'm here to entertain, I'm not here to please anyone. If you find the information I pass on, which is always verified and accurate, to be entertaining, then that's wonderful. If you don't, that's life. Life don't usually roll out the way you want it, okay? Inasmuch as viewers are allowed to drop their comments on my videos, you are obliged to keep the comments polite and sensible. I'm very mindful of the legitimacy of the information I put out to my audience. Only true and legitimate news graces my platform. I only say what is true, irrespective of whether it hurts my feelings or hurts the feelings of my audience. Everything I mentioned in that video was true. It was a fact, and we all know that facts don't care about your feelings. The information there is online, at your disposal. You can look it up yourself. Note, I am not against people disagreeing with my videos. You are free to drop your comments, no matter how disagreeable it is, as long as it is sensible and polite. Okay, now with that being said, I want to reassure everyone that I love each and every one of my African brothers, be you a Ghanaian, be you Ugandan, Zimbabwean, Nigerian, or whatever, I love you and I share positive um, information about your country. I also share about the negative information I get about your country. I do not pick sides and I do not share only one particular type of information. So with that, I bring you this beautiful news um, of Ghanaian President Nana Akufo Odo planning to build new airport for people living in the region of the Cape Coast. Ghana's transport minister, Kwamu Ofori Asiyama, has assured the residents of Cape Coast of the construction of an airport in the Cape Coast region before the end of President Akufado's second tenure in office. It is quite known that the western and the central region of Ghana are well known for their tourist attractions. So this airport will help in the conveyance of tourists and business owners to and fro the region. Inasmuch as this is a welcome news to every Ghanaian, we also can't overlook the fact that this might be another empty promise pushed forward with the aim of giving Nana Akufodo another four years in office. After all, it is customary for African leaders to promise and not fulfill. 
Anyway, let's give them the benefit of doubt and hope that this will be one of those rare times when African leaders actually deliver on their promises. Kudos to Ghana. And as for Uganda, my beautiful people, earlier in 2019, the Ugandan president, Yoweri Museveni, pushed for space technology research with Russia after a meeting with representatives from the Russia slash Uganda Intergovernmental Commission Economic Science and Technical Cooperation. However, Museveni held another bilateral meeting with the Russian president, Vladimir Putin, as well as other leaders of Russia and Africa. Though, I'm not sure the Nigerian president attended. And if he did, he must have been sleeping. Like I was saying, at this meeting, the leaders were exploring and evaluating partnership in areas of space, science, and technology. Right now, Uganda is making serious plans to launch a national space program with the impending launch of her first satellite come 2022. This is really good news. Kenya and Rwanda are the only East African countries that have launched a satellite into space. It is exactly 21 years since the first African satellite, SunSat-1, was launched into space by South Africa in 1999, and the industry has since accelerated with hundreds of millions of dollars invested into it. A total of 20 satellites have been launched so far by Africa since 2016, totaling 41 satellites. Egypt leads the way with nine launch satellites, followed by South Africa with eight, Algeria with seven, Nigeria with six, and Morocco with three launch satellites. Ghana, Sudan, Ethiopia, Angola, Kenya, Rwanda, and Mauritius complete the list. Trust me, Nigerian men, 99.9. Mm. And I'm saying this as fact, 99.9 .9 are not good in bed. There are times where a woman would prefer just, you know what, don't penetrate. Just give me everything, you know, make me feel good. Give me an orgasm and just hug me. Mm. And there are times she wants you to penetrate, but don't penetrate in bed. Take me to the balcony and finish me. Based on everything you said, it seems like a one-way thing. Now, the guys trying to please the ladies, you understand? Mm. Learn what they want, know their styles, know what makes them happy and everything. What about us, the guys? Because I believe the sex should be a two of us thing, not just one person, yeah. not just one sided. Yeah. So if you want something, I think we should just come to a, have a conversation and come to a, a resolution on what we could do to make each other happy. Um, I always say this, if you're a two minutes man, you are perfect. You don't have a problem. If you're a 30 seconds man, you are perfect. You don't have a problem. You become imperfect when you are dating or you are married to a woman who wants 30 minutes. I'm repping the ladies. Yeah. So you rep the guys, right? What, what should I? No, you, guys always have just two questions. Two questions. What's, and I can what's tell that? You how to get a larger up or a longer penis Ooh. and how to last longer in bed. Those are the two questions they usually have. Wait, let's ask. Is, is that you? what you want to know? No, define your question. I don't <laughs> you, you, you need to be straight. Is that your question, Navi? Are question? those your questions? Are you, are you asking me the question? Are you... That was, that was, <laughs> okay, that was a stream. Um, I'm not really going to comment on this. I'm not going to say anything about this. I'm only going to tell you that this information, this uh, interview happened in Nigeria and by Nigerians. Now, I don't usually meddle in um, discussions like this, relationship and stuff like that. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't like talking about it, so I'm gonna leave you guys to come to your own conclusions and you know give your own opinions regarding what that lady said. Anyway, it has been Voices Like It Is with Modesto Ngo. So thank you for watching this today's episode with me, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, give us a thumbs up, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for more. Bye.